Okay, welcome everyone to the 58th Cash Knowledge Seekers Workshop. And today um, we'll uh, start off the workshop with the Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute promotional movie. And uh, then we'll get into the workshop itself. So I'll begin that right away here. So don't see the live start -up. Where does humanity go from here? What have we tried to do? What if there is more? Much more. The Cash Foundation is proud to announce a new way to bring humanity forward it's through technology right that brings humanity in line with the natural operation of the planet and universe itself. The new science and technology discovered and developed by the nuclear engineer Moran Kesh centers upon the use and control of magnetical gravitational fields. This new body of knowledge opens the road to hundreds of potential applications, which offer solutions to most of the fundamental problems of the world, such as water, food, environmental contamination, and shortages of energy. The Keshe Foundation is proud to unveil the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. Nestled amidst the beautiful shores of Bari, Italy, the Institute is poised to become a central hub in the spreading of plasma technology and knowledge. With its state-of-the-art 21st century facilities, the Institute will be able to provide students and staff an immersive way to learn the plasma technology, to be the leaders of the new generation of scientists and plasma engineers. The Keshe Foundation has opened the door to the world for peaceful usage of technology that is independent of the limited resources that are available on Earth. This is an understanding of how everything works together in harmony in our universe, and it applies to everything from the smallest to the biggest, from atoms to galaxies. We all are able to collectively work together in pursuit of knowledge, innovation, and solutions for our society. This learning environment is new to the world, where there will be no test to confirm your understanding. The knowledge of everyone will be respected and allowed to flourish in a nurturing environment. Hands-on testing and experimenting will be widely used in conjunction with roundtable discussions to bring all opinions and knowledge forward. Students will be introduced to a change in the ethos of working in collaboration. Students will experience firsthand how we share knowledge in a free and open manner. Graduating students are expected to share the knowledge they gain from the university within their respective communities and nations. All formal teachings, lectures, and presentations will be in the English language, with technology available for immediate translation. Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute will be offering three-year executive master programs for undergraduate degree students and one-year executive master programs for graduate degree students in the following fields. Space Transportation New Plasma Technology Health Agriculture Materials, energy. The health section is designed to make students able to live in space without the need to return to Earth. To this end, the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute has found processes for many diseases, including ALS, cancer, coma, epilepsy, multiple sclerosis. Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute will offer online teaching courses which will enable anyone anywhere around the world to enroll and increase their knowledge and understanding. Students will have the opportunity to direct their work towards commercial spin-offs and seek funding through the help of the Keshe Foundation. The access to the new science and new technologies is openly available for peaceful use to the benefit of mankind to make a better world today. Now you can be part of the changing world and the new knowledge. All commercial spin-offs are intended to be open source and patent free. This is part of the core ethos of the Keshe Foundation and the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute will have its official inauguration on April 21st, 2015, with courses commencing soon after on May 4th, 2015. The students of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute will be the leaders of the future we will make changes in all areas of space technology, science, medicine, agriculture, and energy. 
anyone is able to apply, but acceptance is through invitation only. No prerequisites are required. We will be accepting approximately 250 students for the three-year Executive Master's program and 120 students for the one-year Executive Master's program. We welcome humanity's participation in the knowledge of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. Where does humanity go from here? That is up to you. Apply today. Okay, that's the promo video for the KFSSI, as it's known as, the Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute. And this is the 58th Knowledge Seekers Workshop. And we'll be speaking with Mr. Kesh of the Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute and uh, possibly some other knowledge seekers through the evening. And we have a number of questions lined up that will be interesting to, to delve into. So, without further ado, let's switch over to Mr. Kesh and uh, hear what he has to say for today to begin with. Mr. Kesh, are you available? Yes. Uh, good morning. Good day. Good evening. And I hope you're all well, wherever you are, and whatever time you listen to this program. We are waiting for the questions, and let's see what we get and how we get the questions, and if we have enough knowledge to be able to answer them. Yes, go ahead. I think I'm surprised you with not announcing anything, so... <laughs> I'm in a state of shock, yes. I'm sure you have lots to announce, but uh, I don't think that's the problem, but we'll just start this this way. Okay, we have um, a question that was relayed to me through Amarok. I'm not sure who it's from exactly, but... Uh, uh, perhaps someone will recognize the question and can let me know who it's from. It goes like this. <clears throat> I've been following for many years and see it as the only hope of the moment in helping humanity in our situation here. But before committing my being to this teaching, I have three questions I need answered. This has been bothering me for some time now. All questions are in relation only to what Mr. Kesh has shared with us so far. This is my only reference since he has stated, we are ignorant of this knowledge, its effects and capabilities. So, uh, first question is, um, I would expect full disclosure of the effects on us and our environment of utilizing the science. I remember two times specifically where he has mentioned these effects so far, but not in a complete way. It would be unethical to me to not do so. It has already been expressed by Mr. Kesh that this is happening already without us knowing it. That's the first question. Um, can you can you repeat the question again? Because I think I missed big part. Of it. Yeah, it's a little bit vague in a way, but um, so he talks about that. This is his his reference is that uh, it has been stated that we're ignorant of this knowledge and its effects and capabilities. So his his first part of his questions are. I would expect full disclosure of the effects on us and our environment of utilizing the science. And uh, if I tell you, let me tell you, if I tell you the full effects and um, the utilization of it, <coughs> most of the speaking world will commit suicide. The human comprehension of the totality of the knowledge is more or less at zero to one percent of the totality. 
the knowledge transfer, even the papers and the documents which I write and I release, some of it will not be understood for hundreds of years. Because it's not there, it's very much like, when man tried for thousands of years to fly like a bird, and tried everything, but did not understand the concept of the left, and looked at the bird. The human race, intelligence, in the structure of universal knowledge, with everything which the man thinks is the uh, king of the creation on this planet, is still is in the doldrums of the universal science. The total disclosure you will not even you, you cannot even comprehend. Even what we disclosed up to now has created enough mayhem in different course and directions. But the thing is, we have released the essence of the knowledge which touches the soul of the man. And in time, the physicality will follow. The, up to now, all the teachings, does not matter by any scientists or any religious um, leaders, have been in one direction only. And has been to do with the physicality of the understanding and application. For the first time, we touch the soul of the man and release the knowledge and the implication and application of it to the soul to teach the physicality. Because physicality has done nothing but to abuse the information, even so meager. So, uh, once the love of the Creator is released, it touches all the souls at the same time. So, you're all being enlightened. It's just that it's a level of your connection between your soul and your physicality, which obstructs for you to see the totality. And even totality is fully understood by your soul, but not by your physicality, because it's so naive that you cannot even handle it. One of the secrets of the creation, when man understands to fly, is instantaneous travel across universes. As a race, human cannot handle his own race of different colors and nationalities, what he has created, imaginary borders. How do you expect to handle the reality of the universes? You will be put in uh, what I call asylum uh, lunatic boxes. Do not blame us, blame your own lack of understanding of the structure of your own soul. You've been too physical, too busy with physicality. So you missed the essence, now we're trying to teach you how to work through your soul. That gets, gets directly into the second part of the question, which says, this is related to question one. What is the purpose or goal of these teachings to take the physicality out of the physical being? What is then the purpose of having the material world? Mr. Kesh has shared some information about this and the Council of Twelve and some of the reasoning, but does not seem complete without answering the following question. So, uh, this is, what is the purpose or goal of these teachings to take the physicality out of the physical being? I'm not quite sure what's meant by that, but you can sort of get the gist of it. Okay. What, what is okay, then the purpose answer. of having the material world? Um, I explained this in the last teaching. Secondly, he's touched about the core twelve. The, the twelve, uh, well, I don't know what word he used, he says something. Um, well, this gets into the third question, it's a segue. No, 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 let's, let's talk in that sentence, he used the word for the Twelve. Right, uh, the Council of Twelve. Council. Yeah, first of all, this is not a Council, it's for those who do not understand and do not, uh, have not been in touch. We announce on annual meet on the 21st meeting of the Keshe Foundation in Barry, a new social structure 
for universal contact and operation in that meeting. Uh, it will be fundamental for those who understand the change. As we said, up to now, uh, all the teachings of the past has to do with the physicality, how to pray, where to pray, uh, how to wash your hand to pray, uh, in which pocket to put your hand in, and what to do, and the rest of it. And uh, the physical teaching has brought us nothing but pain, so like what you call the Council of Twelve is set and is in line with the operation of universal work, which we work and teach, and transfer knowledge to the soul of the man, not the ear of the man, or his eyes. Up to now, physicality has been used to promote the understanding of the soul. Now, the more people understand the operation of the soul, the way we have been teaching, now you understand, it's actually the soul which controls the operation of the physicality, in the wrongdoing of the man to be corrected. So, instead of coming from the bottom top, we're coming from top to bottom. And with this process, is always success in achieving peace and unity, and bringing a man in touch with the rest of the Universal Community. We are directly in line, and following what we started years ago. You will understand in time. What's the next question? The third question. Okay, it... Um, I have to certainly go back to the second one and com uh, continue with it. It's Mr. I'll go back to the part that says, Mr. Kesh has shared some information about this and the Council of Twelve and some of the reasoning, but it does not seem complete without answering the following question. Why is it not to complete Christ's mission, as explained again by Mr. Kesh? What is the problem in physicality that prevents the prophets from completing their missions? I have read in my name and have attended all the knowledge seeker and health workshops, lectures, etc. And still these questions linger. So the basic question is, what is the problem in physicality that prevents the prophets from completing their missions? Um, their mission in the soul was complete. The interpretation of the position created mayhem in physicality of the Prophets. Um, this is what I keep on saying and a lot of people are deaf to it. I try and I've done my best not to make the mistakes of the past, done by the messengers of the past. Because when you sit in the position that you receive so much knowledge in your physicality soul, from your directional soul, which is what we call the Creator, it is so overwhelming that you can misread your own position. We see this a lot around the Foundation. Uh, we see in this in Belgium, we've seen this in the Sansano, we've seen this in recent past, even in Bari. People who come in touch with us, who come in touch with the Foundation, who come close to so many ways, the works which we do, and they consider us as a stupid, um, they consider us as lazy and fat, and they consider us as the, the man, why have they sent such a man so ignorant of his job, and any and many other things, and incompetent to commercialize it to benefit it fully. And we have even seen in the Sansano people who dictated that we we are the owners of the Cash Foundation. We saw what we call the coup d'état in Belgium by the people who came close and did not understand the essence of the work of the Foundation, and now became, they wanted to become the directors and owners of the Foundation. Foundation is just a name, but it shows the lack of, or the weakness in them trying to bring physicality to be in order, the way as it was done before. So, 
um, we see this, this interpretation again and again, and this is what happens to the Prophet of the past. In understanding partially the power of the knowledge and what it is to bring, it makes these people think to be the owners and the directors of the foundation to change. They don't understand one thing. The knowledge is important, not the physicality of the ownership of the foundation. And secondly, the only director of the foundation is one man. How can they become? We saw it as we called in Kudatago in the writings and interviews of the past with the foundation. We saw it in the Sansano, and now here even we see the thing, I'm a stupid, I don't understand, it can bring billions. And the whole structure we're setting up is to get rid of billions. To bring essence of use as time of the need, according to what is needed. And um, their financial gains and the wealth and the Rolls Royces parked outside their houses, blinds into the reality of actually Rolls Royce worth nothing in the space. And this is the same thing happened with the Prophet of the past. When they saw the respect, the honor, which people paid to them in respect to the message they brought, they mixed their physicality with the responsibility of the souls or the position of the soul. And then that's the time when the message was stopped. And then that's what we've seen. They saw the position as a way to achieve more physicality and more gains for their physical life. We've seen it with Moses, we've seen it with Christ, and we've seen it with Muhammad and the rest, Buddha and the rest of them. That's the time when the message was, the physicality was detached, the soul of physicality was detached from the soul of the Prophet, or the messenger's line. Moses carried the most horrendous murders, because now he was a king, he was in charge. When he was actually in charge of the soul of the man, he translated to physicality of the man. With Christ, we saw what happened. Um, physical, um, Use of the body of the man, led to the punishment of the man. Thou shalt not do adultery. You have to read the true papers and documents about the behavior of Christ, at the time of his life. Not the way it's been cleaned up, and translated. That it suits the image, to bring a lot of money in the suit of the businessman of the priest. Church has become a business clothes, with a what we call a dog collar. And the same we see in with followers of Muhammad and Buddha. So, this is the point when the physicality has to be in charge, the soul of the physicality has to be in charge, that does not make the mistakes of the uh, soul. And in the position I sit, and the people you come across, you can misread their devotions to the reality of their action. We fall in love the same as everybody else, and we understand the need of the physicality to be able to translate the knowledge. And this is what people are blind to. When Muhammad allowed on the name, his name, the first life to be taken, to become, in name of follower of the God, his mission with God was finished. When Moses did the same, his line was finished. From then on, became a physical matter, and he has no position as a prophet of God. This is why I leave the institutes and the operation of the foundation very open and amazingly transparent. And I'll let others to come and do what they like, because everybody brings a gift. And when the time is finished, they, they, they leave the gift and they go. And there are those who stay around and serve for a long time. And that way their souls get elevated through the knowledge, through the soul, not to their physicality. This is why we see so much problem with one government, and that has not stopped the foundation from working. 
has made us much stronger, because I don't attach anything to the physicality. I live a fairly comfortable life. For that reason, I spend nearly 20 hours of my day to serve. I have no other time to do other things. So, the rules on the game, the condition and the term of the new style of living is not to suffer, to steal from yourself, that you can help the others. Because then you have a stolen and then it's the rule, thou shall not steal. I'm quite aware of the position I have accepted, and at the same time, I'm aware of the carrying and being in position of two souls. One soul is the connection of my physicality, and one soul is the connection between the soul of the physicality and the soul as a creator. And I've done my best not to make a mistake between the two. I see my anger is in physical term when the things do not go the way it is, and I've seen falling in love very easily through the heart of the man. But understanding the connection of the, between the soul and the physicality, and the reason for the purpose. But at all time, being in control that I do not make the mistakes of the past. And that's where whole thing is going so smoothly and so correctly. Even though you think it should be done in one go. You, I explained this to a child. A knowledge of a Prophet cannot be like a shooting star. It comes and disappears. It has to be like the Sun, constant, continuous and ever. And what we've seen in the Prophet of the past has been shooting stars. Where they got amalgamated into physicality of the structure of the planet. That's where the difference is. We can give you all the knowledge, but you never see it. The Belgians and the Americans and the Canadians blocked in every way, form and shape for us to not have the radioactive material to show the power of the technology of the Universal Plasma. But they don't understand, they're so naive that we know the full knowledge totality. Immediately, we open the direction of the plasma of a Gans. And even if they try to stop this, there is much more powerful system, which is part of the structure of the soul of the man, we can release. But people have to understand the application and the implication of it. Plasma technology releases man from the state of the matter and enters you into the self of the work of the universe. A lot of people say, he has become a preacher from a scientist. We use the science to preach the correct way. And from now on, any kind of messengers come, will carry the talent and knowledge of both sides, that they can show you, what it is, and what can bring, and what can harm you with it. Christ brought no science, neither Muhammad. Einstein did not bring any social structure in the soul of the man. For the first time, the two has been put together through the soul of the man, for the physicality of the man to be correct in the space. This is what you have the problem in understanding our work. We do not teach religion, we teach the ethos of the universe, that what we teach you, you cannot be harmed by. A father teaches a son how to start a fire, that he can help him to stay warm and feed himself in the future. But at the same time, warning of the fire can hurt him and kill him to be prepared. And that's our job. You teach how to start a fire, but the safe way, and the ethos of doing it, that you don't burn the whole bush, and the house. This is your misunderstanding of our work, but to us it's very clear what we are doing. 
on the other hand, foundation has millions of followers, one or two people have to claim their own status for them to claim their own existence. And these are irrelevant. We've seen it from a king, and we've seen it from the layman, a mentally unconditioned person in the East, Middle East and in the Far East. They all have their own mental condition. So, please do not ask these questions, because um, in a way you have to ask, but in a way you should have understood our work. If you go back in what the Foundation has done and what we achieved, we have the blind, we have made the blind to see, we have resurrected a dead body in Belgium, where the doctor said there is no life. We have shown the operation of new material, and the condition by the last prophet has been the mutation, and understanding the mutation of the new elements. And we have fulfilled. It's man who is blind to the knowledge, not us. Um, Mr. Kesh, can you suggest some ways that people can increase their ability to um, understand and uh, uh, be less resistant to the changes and, you know, be able to adapt quicker to the things that are going on? It's according to the understanding of them and their own intelligence. We have a doctor specializing in gravitational field, he has levitated before, and he's been accepted for the um, Knowledge Seekers uh, Group 1, who starts in May. And he turned up in the lab last week. For me, it was easy to say to him, come back in 4th of May. I said, if you are so eager, his life ambition is to lift. And with him and Marco, they've been at it for a week now. And he started realizing yesterday, that up to now he was thinking, and he still does, in the old way, in the physical state of matter, not plasma. And understanding the work of the plasma, it's not hard for him, but as a doctor in this field, it's, it's a new way of thinking. But he has the knowledge. People have to understand, the creation is one. It depends which part of it you want to accept, to confirm your own existence. All the religions ex uh, explain the existence of God, and the Creator. And you all go to mosque, you go to church, you go to synagogue, you go to temples, and pray to the Creator, which is one. But one of you decide to call yourself a Christian, some Jew, some Buddhist, some Hindu, and the rest. But the message in essence has not changed. Is you who accept that school of thoughts for you to find your path. The biggest problem mankind has is very simple. That a state of matter is part of the universal structure of the plasma. And they want to stick to the lowest part of the structure, than looking up and understanding the work of the uh, totality. That's where the problem sits, and nowhere else. And once you understand looking up, and understanding the work of totality, you will understand the physicality in the world of the Creator is the same and the only one. He gave life to the existence of the uh, physicality. So, he has to be part of it. And this is why you have problem to understand the totality. It's like um, going from East Coast of United States to the West Coast of United States. And you still call it United States, but now you are, let's say, in Los Angeles. And you are Western. And the other one stays on the East, and it stays with New York, and the New Yorker. But you still are part of the same nation, or the structure. You have to understand, you cannot get to the West, if you don't, if you're coming from the East, crossing New York, or the East Coast. That's your problem, because in physicality, you have a problem in placing yourself. But the state of the matter, is part of the totality, it's still a plasma, 
a part of the totality of the spectrum of the field of the universe. And the work of the universe is exactly the same in all levels and all layers and all the strength. So is the state of the Creator. We see the total and carry the structure of the Creator. You see your own patch and that's all you can understand. It's not easy to look up. To open a man's eye is very difficult because you are used to it. This way you feel comfortable and you feel safe. So you protect the domain. Um, Mr. Keshe, is there anything that you can recommend in terms of, uh, I don't know, like say meditation or some sort of uh, uh, out of body uh, uh, work in terms of... Uh, um, no, there is nothing you can recommend. The only recommendation you have is to be open to accept the totality, which is all one. In each moment, basically, right? In everything, in everything right. you do. Okay, well that's you a understand? pretty big, that's a pretty big suggestion. Can we break it down into, uh, how does that let's look say, like practically let, let, in the moment? Let's, let's look at something very simple. You are totally uh, evolved and work around the state of matter. And whatever is not matter, be it part of the strength of it, the sound, part of the strength of it, the light, part of the strength of it, the emotion, you do not accept. Because uh, man has been brought up to understand what he can touch. If you've been privileged to feel the love for another creator or another creation, then you should be able to understand the totality of the creation. Because loving has no physical dimension, tangible structure. So, if you can understand the feeling, what you call the emotion, then it should be easy for you to understand there is no need for physical dimension. <laughs> then you understand there are other dimensions that are, that are bigger scale of the work than what you are used to or what you would like to condition yourself to understand. There is no easy path, every man will take it according to his own intelligence. And intelligence knows no language, no color, and no religion. We, we see this all the time. It's you who have to decide how much I am prepared to live. I can live in a room, I can live in a house, I can live in a city, I can live in a country, I can live on a planet, I can be part of the universal structure. But as I always say, man has committed himself to village structure, planet Earth. They want, and they tell me, why don't you do miracle that we can see? We have already done the miracle. You've been blind to it. We have touched the soul of every being on this planet. Never been done. From China to South America, from north to east, from every creatures. Have you ever seen a Muslim or Christian fish? We have touched the soul of every being on this planet. So, we don't need a school of thoughts. Any other question? Well, um, there, there is a question, it gets into a bit of a long uh, explanation here, but perhaps it's worth um, 
getting into. Um, let me go for it here, and uh, it, it may be something that you you won't want to get into. But anyway, let's try. I have a few questions for Mr. Cash. If you get get these to him sometime, I don't think these questions are suitable for the kids' workshops, but maybe another workshop. I debate with my older brother a lot. He is 27 about what is happening in the world, free energy and science, also a lot about religion. You see, Mr. Kesh made a claim a while ago that he is the Messiah. I told my brother about this, and he says the word Messiah translates from a pharaonic into lizard king. And now I imagine you have heard of reptilian beings or entities that are here on planet Earth. The negative entities, which I am told are evil in origin, have enslaved humanity collectively for thousands if not hundreds of thousands of years. There are many groups of extraterrestrials here that are manipulating us for their own agenda. The two main ones are the Orion group and the Draconian group. Also from people like Alex Collier, there is a galactic council of many races to which we refer to as the Andromedians, who apparently have an armada of fleet ships if you like that, are beyond the trajectory of Saturn, ready to invade into this planet and hopefully destroy or get rid of these negative entities that are manipulating us. Now I have seen a video you have posted where you were talking about Dr. Stephen Greer and you're following his disclosure project. Well, I know a lot of people think he is specifically... Stop, stop. I don't know who Dr. Greer is. How can I follow his work? Maybe he was um, speaking to someone else in where he was posting. I'm I'm not clear. Uh, he, he's talking to uh, Kevin Devani. So Kevin would have posted a video where where um, he was talking about Dr. Stephen Greer, who is a, a big sort of. UFO guy who's got a following uh, and they go out in, in the desert and uh, watch the skies for UFOs and so uh, on. They have sort of a, a thing between the government I and heard, so on. I remember some communication somewhere, but okay, carry on. Okay, so um, a lot of people think he is specifically misinforming people about negative entities. Now, Mr. Kesh has not really talked about negative entities, and to ignore them is not good, in my opinion. I mean, they are a real threat, and I understand the world leaders are bad, but these are on the next level. Children across the planet are going missing in the hundreds of thousands, never to be seen again, literally, I believe, down to the world leaders that I know about it and are allowing it, that know about it and are allowing it most probably for some sort of reward from these negative entities. They feed on our energy and fear especially. I have too many questions to ask really, but it isn't as easy as sorting the world leaders out, and once they are gone, it's all good. That's possible, but who do they work for? Who do they work with? There is strong evidence pointing towards these negative extraterrestrials. I understand Mr. Kesh has said we need to have peace, and only peace on our mind in the space. If we have war in our mind, we will be annihilated straight away. There are too much more advanced and older races out there, not all of which are negative, but we do live in duality, unfortunately. There are good and bad factions of many races here for their own agenda, manipulating us simply because they can do it and we can't stop them. And then he asks, what are your thoughts on this, Kevin? I know it's not really a question, but if you could bring this up to Mr. Kesh sometime, that'd be great to hear his view on it. I don't think it's for the kids' workshop. It may scare them, and that's not what I want to do. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so, I'm going to answer this maybe in a very short way. Okay. <clears throat> in a space, we do not have what you call bad and evils. There is a structure set that these things never come into universal community. Unless they change and over time they show their, their, their what you call allegiance to peace. 
whatever you tell me is a fairy tale. If this was not so, you would have seen wars in all sorts of shapes and forms everywhere around the world, in the universe. We do not see. The, the one of the reasons that man is not in that level to be part of the universal space community is because of the animal behavior of the man. So, if you've been kept isolated, you think others have been allowed in? This is your problem, this is where what you tell me is all fairy tale. Within knowledge of the universal community, and man has not been the only group who ever received the messengers to correct the path, Till you do not achieve, in essence, the true meaning of the peaceful uh, life, you're not allowed in, and you do not carry the knowledge to be allowed in, and the knowledge in the universal level is so high, that whatever you discover, we know more of. We contain, we do not interfere. We contain, uh, a virus, and man's behavior is his virus. And we have enough knowledge to be able to contain anything in any shape, size and dimension in the universe. So, whatever you tell me, they are there, evil ones, uh, we have not seen, and they, are, they don't exist, because if you understand, you misunderstood the totality, we keep on saying, the space is a peaceful place. And if it is, we have never allowed the animal behavior and evilness to come into it. That's why we touch the soul to change the physicality and behavior of the physicality. So, whatever you tell me, and I hear a lot of it, a lot of people do a lot of things, showing they are aliens and the rest. What do you call aliens? You are aliens to the others. Ah, this is what I always say. Uh, on this planet, you call each other foreigners. But, you are a foreigner the minute you put your foot out of your own house, in respect to the society let alone countries and nations and the rest of it. Can I add something? Yes. Well, it, it just, it's the mentality of, the, of humans in, in totality right now, that, you know, if we're this way, where there's good guys and bad guys, then that's the way it has to be everywhere. That's, I think, the major hurdle to come across is that that thinking is only based upon your understanding. It's not based upon the actual truth. So if you don't have all the information and you don't have the understanding that you need, then you just take it from what you see as in terms of yourself or in terms of humanity. So I think once we move beyond that and once uh, and I'm sure there's lots of people out there that have done this, that there cannot be this everywhere. This is wrong. Wars are wrong. We, there's lots of people that know that wars are wrong and, uh, and know that we're all part of one universal community and we're waiting for that day when people can, all people can understand this. So I think that's a major hurdle and exactly what you were talking about with people not being able to understand in themselves, and so they're not able to see the full totality. Thank you. You see, the reason, the reason we say there cannot be evil and something wrong, because it's part of our own behavior. So, if we can be so, the others, so we justify to be. It's not that the others have to be, because we do the wrong things ourselves, so we, the others have to be wrong as well, that it justifies our own existence. That's where the problem is. This is the biggest problem with the human race. 
because it's nothing to do with the others, it's to do with ourselves. <clears throat> There's an interesting debate coming up now with um, they've created uh, robots that can be that can go out and kill people in in the battlefield now. So the debate is whether it's uh, ethical to have robots killing people, and uh, the debate goes that only humans should kill humans. <laughs> and I'm thinking, what what kind of debate is that? That only only people should kill people and not have robots killing people, and that's what the rules should be for war. And I'm thinking that's totally ridiculous. That's got to come up. I think this guy's rather. This guy's a few tens of years behind, because robots have been killing people. Intercontinental missiles, long distance missile controls. Drones and so on, yes. But now, now they have an actual thing that looks like a human in terms of legs and arms and so on, and it will be able to... Let me, let me explain to you around. something. Whatever we said has happened, now I tell you what is going to happen. This is not a prediction. The total knowledge of man, especially in the last 30 years, sits on microchip. You cannot find any technology which can pass more than, let's say, even a kilometer without a facility with a microchip in it. Be it the car, be it the micro, uh, telephone, be it the communication line, whatever you can think of. With the knowledge of the Cash Foundation, if we wish, we can bring man to the time of the cave or to 200 years ago all the microchips carry plastic carbon hydrogen bond you have seen how we have dislocated the structure of the CH bond in Coca-Cola bottle where the top disappears. So, the next step of understanding is creation of the gravitational magnetic field of CH. Which you all seen it, but you don't understand it. With a single chip will work. You create nothing, you just need to create the gravitational magnetic field of a bond between carbon and hydrogen. And all knowledge of the man in the past hundred years is good for the bin. Bin and gone. The, the situation, the new knowledge is so horrendously damaging that man has no choice to come to term of peace without killing. Then it will go back to the swords and arrows, the longest, uh, the furthest you can throw an arrow, that's your limit. A robot cannot throw an arrow, and the robot is very easy because it cannot function, there's no microchip. Microchip does not function. In so many ways, if we release, in a very short time, the knowledge of replicating, as we've done with CO2, CH3 or CH, and the power of the interaction of the CH, which in on next um, next uh, Tuesday, next week here in the, in, the, in the institute, we will show it for those who understand. Then uh, microchip is zero. Then let them build as many robots as they like. They give the biggest problem with releasing this knowledge will be all these aircraft which are flying in the space above us. 
at any time half a million people, according to the statistics, are up there, in different flights in totality. So, let them build as much things as they like, but let them understand the power which has been released. And at the same time, the physical body of the man in his brain has a CH bond. We can shift it to. It's been done so many times through the health program. And in the next few weeks we physically show it. So, let them build whatever they like. We warn and we warn, and then when we take action, man will go back to the point of only trusting his soul and nothing else to be. You will see the modern technology, which is all the latest computers in front of you, but just as physicality, because in essence the chip inside doesn't work anymore. Be it the satellite, be it the latest uh, warheads. And if need be, I will show the power. I'll give enough room to play, and if need be, if the call of peace is not answered the way we plan it to be done, that we educate enough that they make a decision, the way you see the, what you call uh, the bone of the man, and what tools they used to use millions of years ago, thousands of years ago, you will see all the latest computers without the function across this planet. Then, we would like to see who's prepared to fly where, and who's prepared to go anywhere, because there is nothing to do. This power has been shown several times, and the world leaders missed it. We can tune to the time of the flight of the Presidents and the world leaders, simultaneously, that they all land safely, but they will never fly, but they all land isolated, they'll be each other's kings and presidents in the islands where they meet. We have the knowledge, if you manage to dislocate CH bond on the head of the Coca-Cola, with, with the, what we call it, uh, um, NaOH, and you are using that as a CH bond, or a CO2 bond in your reactors, you missed a very big gap, because you are looking at physicality. Don't forget, world leaders meet on a regular basis, in islands and isolated places. I wonder how many of them will, will understand this warning, it's the last warning we give. No soul will be harmed, but no soul will be nowhere to be the king. I'm sure that could be a very popular TV show. Uh, the banning to the island, you know, the banning of the weak to uh, some island somewhere. Survival show. Quite interesting. See who is the king and how many lovers a queen will have. I think the Queen of Bel uh, what do you call it, England, will be very favorable. It could be king of a one-acre island. Plenty of kings, they're gonna, now they have to accept who's going to be the boss. Yes, that would be interesting, put a bunch of kings all in one place and uh, see what happens. <laughs> that would be a good uh, reality TV show. There's a question from Carlos. Will yeah, you... but, 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 Rick, this is not a joke. I, I know, I'm, I shouldn't really joke about that. We, 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 we give the last warning. We talked about the boats, we talked about the ships, <coughs> the bathtubs, we've seen it. And this is the last warning to the world leaders. You will be the king, the king of your own clothing and nowhere else. If your mental condition allows you to accept such a change. As I said before in my presentations, if your plan and your thoughts is to be the strongest, more powerful man in the world, of the power, most powerful nation on this planet, to cause mayhem and allow death and killing to go on, I'll give you a galaxy, go there and become a king. Leave the planet alone, that we can bring peace, that we can be a peaceful place. 
as you know, as I said this so many times before, we send the message of peace to the White House, and I received nothing but shame of how justifying murder, and I said, this is not be so. World leaders have lost their position, and they have misplaced their strength. When you are a leader, is to guide, to protect, to elevate the totality, not your own seat of promotion of the strongest. Next question. We do not preach, but we teach that you understand the connection with what we teach you in the, in the scientific way, has to be used correct way in the essence of the creation in the world of the man. It's no use showing you how to build a car, when you don't know how to drive it and the rules of the road. We give you the car, we show you how to build it, and we teach you as a school of uh, driving, how to drive without getting hurt. Well, that's a good segue into this next question, which is from Carlos. Will the UN or the international community allow us to have a spacecraft with a speed faster than the speed of light? Or is it a they threat? They have no say. They is have it? no say. They he says, is no it a threat say. to the actual economical structure? You will understand. Listen to the next Tuesday presentation we offer a full package for human race. Next Tuesday presentation at Loom. Even they're trying to stop that presentation at Loom in so many different ways, we don't want to be trying to find out. Even yesterday we were battling with it. Uh, we will introduce a total new structure in the working of the man, from A to Z. You got to understand something very simple. Um, Sohail has already uh, tells us that he's managed to create a continuous power supply. Eric Clausen is of the same school of thought, and we know others who have done so. Add a multiplication of these, you have your power supply. In the coming time, we will show the water unit. And in the coming time, we show how to convert the water, you absorb the moisture from the air to the food. <laughs> how many people will pay taxes to governments to stay alive? How many people will get in the car to go to work, to pay 50, 60, 70 percent of it to their government, for a bunch of them to abuse children and play with different women, under the name of government and officials. In China, they execute them. In the East, or in the, in the West, they find a loophole to get around it. But, when you put millions of people out of this planet, which are the educated lot, where are the finances coming to pay for the others? Unless the others be treated equal and fairly, that they all contribute equally to the foundation of the structure of the human race. You cannot just bring a science and leave it. You cannot bring a science and teach it and uh, bring the ethos of using it. You have to show how it will change the structure. UN has no say. The time of showing the flight that will change the structure of the man is already set. You can jump up and down as much as you like. Because, at that point, the total soul of the man is ready for the change. And is boiling to the boiling point, very soon. So, do we need the structure of the United Nations? Or do we replace the United Nations with a new structure, which works through the soul of the man, and we introduce this in the coming week. United Nation has been United Robbery Bank. 
to the benefit of those who made it to benefit themselves and it never served the name it carried. I will explain something why even the Keshe Foundation was given 50% of his voting right to United Nations. United Nation, when you have one nation, there is no for them to unite. When the work of the Keshe Foundation, where we are teaching the Chinese, the Americans, the Canadians, the Africans, the Europeans, you are working all at, as the fingers of one hand for this to bring to be brought out into open. Have you ever spoke about your nationality? No. So, you have set the structure of the human race as unity. So, is there, an, is, is there a room for a world united nation, when there is only one nation on this planet? Is there a need for a council of the religions, when there is no religion? And it's all one. Is there a need for Universal House of Justice in Haifa, in Israel, which carries 50% of the water of the, all the religious groups? We know what we've done. The terms has finished, because man will work through the soul as one nation and as one um, creator, believe in serving the universal community, not their own pocket. So, United Nations term is already finished, if you haven't understood by now. And when the man works the way you lot are working together, to build the first lift, the first system, um, the first uh, energy unit, the first CO2 unit, the first health unit. So you're already one nation. And the others have to join to understand there are no borders. <laughs> So, as we said, the, when you finish with the term of there shall be no king and presidents, how can it be a united nation? It's finished. It's a dying man struggling with the last legs of his life. Because when you unite as one, who do you need to tell you to unite? Because you already done so, there is no ground for such a search. United Nation was set up in the name to rob the other nations. It's actually a division nation than the United Nation. The thieves got themselves on the top to rob more. And the richest were put out for the thieves which are the weakest to rob. Very much we see in the structure of the family, the youngest child always disrupt and knows everything, because he thinks he's been stolen from the older brother, while they were there, he wasn't there to be benefited by it. The weakest on the bottom of the scale are the head of the United Nations. How can this be? So, there is no United. It's called, a, I call it the Robbery Council. And what they don't need, they take it in there to approve it to come rob. We've seen it with Iran, we've seen it with Libya, we've seen it with uh, Iraq, on the false names, on the name of United Nations is a thieving council, and it's finished. Whatever they want to, to rob and steal, they take it to the United Nations to approve it for themselves, that we can do it legally, to their own legal term. Where are the people who killed so many in Iraq for the chemical weapons which did not exist? The President of the United States has to be brought in the Court of Justice and answer for it understand the consequences of it. As was said, the buck stops here, at the top. The ones who approved destruction of Libya, killing so many people to rob the central bank, on the protection of the United Nations, they have to answer to, to, the, to the One Nation Council when it appears, through their souls.
we have blown the wind of change across the soul of the man. The physicality is irrelevant. When you work as one, you're putting the space program together as one. Eric Klaasson talks to Chinese in China about what is developed in energy and water. When uh, Almond, an Armenian in America, runs all the way to China to teach what is done. When we see people from Africa teaching us so beautifully in past workshops. What is a nation? We are already one nation, on the flag of the Keshe Foundation. Shall we take a name out of it and call it the Foundation? With a big F, that covers the whole of humanity, with this Foundation. In time we shall. My name will not appear on any paper in time to come and they'll be forgotten. That's how we wish and that's how it will be. But it brings unity to man as one nation and allows man to enter universal community in a peaceful way. You call it Adam, the new cycle is cash, and time will be forgotten. Next question. Okay, there's a question from Gur. Um, did the people in the earlier visits have knowledge and use of the GANs also, as you are teaching us? Were they further developed than we are now, and then did they use the GANs as food or life force? You, you are so physical that we had to show you something. There is no early visitors, and there is no late visitors, we are amongst you. We sit on the same table as you eat every day. We've been from the time of the beginning, and we there till the time of the end. It's like when you go to Africa on a safari. You don't go and change the life of the lion, or the people who you stay with. You see them, you visit them, you eat with them and you go, even though they might not be aware of your presence. Man will do the same in coming time in the space. You get into the caravan and you go from one place to see the beauty of the place. In time you get in the spaceship and you do the, the same thing in the universe. And it's been done the same thing. You know, in, in the universe when we want to go see the wild west bunch of animals, we say we go to Earth, because then we learn the beauty of the peace of the universe. How bad it could be. So, there is no term, when was the best visitors? We come, we do not touch, we watch and we go and we clean up that there is nothing left. And sometimes a few try to be kind, but on the other hand, the, the kindness is misread. So, we've never been out, we've never been early, we are always there, we'll be there. Even this moment, there are millions of visitors amongst you and you don't even see them. Billions. Because nobody has seen such an animal as for centuries. Man's time. You are a bunch of people who wear a fair coat and inside are animals waiting to eat each other. And that has to change. You love, you explain the term of the love. You adore, you explain the term of adoring. Why do you waste time in hating and killing? This is one thing you haven't understood. And in time, when you understand, the term changes. But don't forget what I said. The ones who instigated, they can have their own island to be the king of their own place and see how many kings will sleep with how many queens. <laughs> Next question. Okay, we do have a, kind of a tech question here, but uh, who knows how it will go, because 
we try to ask a tech question, we get a spiritual answer, and sometimes we ask a spiritual question, we get a tech answer. So because they're all connected to they each are, other, every same that's as right. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we put this right once and for all. You use the technology in the guns, and we show it how it's used and applicable in health. We show the energy production, how it's applicable to nano and cancer structure. There is no difference between that and what you call a spirituality. It's not a spiritual, because that's another part of the same structure. Once you build the body and you understand the structure of the body, you call it a GANS, and then you see it's working in the body of the man. The body of the man has a soul, it needs to know how the physicality works. So, it's you who creates the division, but to me is all is one. But trying to put in order to understand, if you uh, make a wrong shoe, then you hurt the foot, and then you break your leg, and then you are in pain, and being in pain, you need a wheelchair, you're disabled, and the rest of it, and then you become a burden to the society, and you become sorrowful and regretful, you damage your soul, so your soul had nothing to do with the shoe, but there was a shoe who created the suffering of the soul. So you understand the structure. All had to do with each other. For you it's difficult, but for me it's all one. And then in time, when you think the same way, you have reached the state of understanding the creation. So the actual question is, um, is it possible, from Robert, is it possible to convert oxygen to hydrogen at room temperature and pressure? Yes, why not? Why not? You have more of it. But don't go through the plasma, don't go through matter state, go through plasma and gans state, yes. If you, let me explain to you to understand how. If you are looking for the physicality of the hydrogen, you can still do it. But if you look for the essence of the property of the hydrogen in oxygen, it's much easier. All you need to do to move the oxygen far enough in the position in respect to you where you want it, the field arrives at that point, will behave like a hydrogen. You don't change the character of the plasma. You change its position and what arrives. So, if at one centimeter from where you are, the, uh, the structure of the plasma gives the property and the structure of the oxygen, move it eight centimeter further back, now you receive the property of the hydrogen at the point of your need. This you should have learned by now from the plasma technology. If you are looking for a physical division, that can be done. But then you have to understand how you can extract a condition, magnetic gravitational fields of hydrogen, in respect to the plasma of the oxygen in the structure of the magnetosphere of the oxygen. And then, if you're looking for the hydrogen as a normal term of one proton, one electron, or you're looking at the true structure of the hydrogen, which is one neutron, one electron, and one proton, what you call the theory. The extent of the knowledge is how you position the place. And then, if you want from the same hydrogen the behavior of plutonium, you bring it close enough, that you go within the magnetosphere of the plasma of the hydrogen, to the stronger length, a stronger point, then you get the behavior of the proton. You should have understood this by now. Next question. There's a question in Facebook, I'll have to access it. Um, anybody have a question in the Skype call or... or uh... 
What is this picture we see, a reactor on the table? Oh, well that was, um, that was the underwater reactor that we saw before. I'll show the other pictures of it, the, the fish tank reactor that we liked. And uh, uh, Amrock got some further photos sent to him that he passed on to me to um, be able to show some of the details of the device and so on. <clears throat> And we don't have the author of it right now, I don't think, but uh, we can probably bring that up in the Chinese workshop uh, one of the next couple of times. I just thought it was an interesting picture with the fish. And you can see the, uh, the fish swimming around the reactor inside the fish tank. <clears throat> Okay, uh, I think in the presentation next week we show one of the smallest uh, reactor settings. Hopefully, if it's ready, okay, you will see you will see a beautiful. Marco is working on it, uh, and then if Arman with his talent arrives here to put what I put together on the table to show, let's see a beautiful feeding container. I'll explain to you when you see it. Okay, there's an interesting question of, is it true that time as we know it doesn't exist, but that there is only one moment in creation, looked upon from different positions? This is from Nadine. Can I give that to you again? I read it it's on the on the on the what do you call it? It's on the live stream chat. On yes. the live stream. Okay. I think if you understood the answer to the last question, you have already received your answer. If you haven't understood, I'll explain it to you in a different language. I was told I keep on changing explanation and one contradicts the other because when you don't understand it, I'll put it in the opposite side. Then for your um, lack of understanding and intellect, then you understand it different way. But in fact, I still have respect for your intellect because that's part of the structure. I just explained to you if you want plutonium in respect to oxygen, a structure, you bring the point of reference inward. And then if you want the behavior of a hydrogen from an oxygen atom, you move it back eight centimeters. In essence, when the oxygen was at the point next to you, at a zero time. And always will be zero time because that's the point of contact, doesn't matter how you receive the behavior. So, the time the energy took from eight centimeter to reach that point at one hydrogen, is it eight minutes? Or is it when you move the plasma next to where it is and behaves as oxygen at zero time? And then, when you move the parameters of the magnetosphere of the oxygen further closer that it behaves like the uranium or plutonium, have you gone forward in time? Time is the essence of the knowledge and understanding of the being from its own environment. Because if you are at the oxygen 8 centimeters away, it takes 8 centimeters to get to that point. But at the point of hydrogen, you are still at zero time because you're already there. So, time is the essence from the observation point of view of the, the, the object of the creation. Time in the space, the way you look at it, does not exist. Time is a reference point from a point of the observation, and not the space 
the distance of travel. Then you are always at zero time according to where you are. But you always move according to the strength of it. Next question. Okay, there is a question um, from Steez. What happens at the plasma level when, when you do electrolysis of water to extract hydrogen? You, you explain and then you understand. <laughs> what does electrolysis mean? What do you do with it? What happens? What do you put in that you get that out? And does it happen in that respect? I know a lot you, of... Sorry, yeah. go ahead. I was going to say that a lot of people um, have done experiments with uh, okay. getting HHO out of the water and so on. So, um, I saw we one... We can do it in a much easier... There's a much... We teach you how to do it. It's a very easy way to get the effect of the property or get enough fields out of the plasma of the water to to create the atomic hydrogen in a plasma condition. There is a question here I have to, I prefer to answer it this way. It's from Fried Schemeter. Question is when will when will the relevant authorities accept your solution for cleaning up Fukushima? And does it matter are there other ways? <coughs> We have entered the fifth phase of the Fukushima cleanup because the authorities want further, easier way to be able to extract. Uh, they already extracted the radioactive, but they wanted more practical way to do it because they cannot see it, how to do it. So we are putting the things together within the next few days. Uh, uh, the package will be leaving for Fukushima. Uh, it's a much easier method and they can extract it without other problems they had in extraction. The, uh, the problem at the moment sits with the Office of the Prime Minister of Japan or with somebody at the high rocking connection with the American government that they do not allow direct, uh, what do you call, interaction between the Cash Foundation and uh, um, TEPCO or INTEPCO with the, with the site in Fukushima. So the structure is said to be with the pride of the Japanese, most probably, that we have agreements, and through that agreement we send materials to Fukushima through the allocated uh, uh, company by the Japanese government. And now they have requested uh, for an easier method. Uh, Marco and I, we've been working on it for the past few days. Marco has set up the last phase of it, so uh, in the next few days, uh, the fifth stage of the testing in Fukushima with the new structure will start. That allows the Japanese to, uh, to do their work. Uh, but uh, in a way, they have the full process of cleaning up at the moment in their hand. It's just uh, making an easier system for extraction, uh, once it's um, separated from the mass. And uh, this... Uh, this, this process is already in hand and will be done. Uh, we have requested for, again, from the Japanese government for taking up these layers away, but as you understand, with the American situation with Iran, these layers cannot be put aside. And once even we find a solution, uh, yes, you see the picture there. Even once um, we give them and it's accepted, uh, and then we have to go to Vienna to come to an agreement with the IEA that this technology can be used uh, by the Japanese. Because what has happened, we have opened our patents. So the technology, in a way, is in a, in the dilemma of the patent and free knowledge, but at the same time connected to the foundation. And this, this is where we are. Hopefully, we will manage to resolve the situation in the coming days with our... Um, with our Ch Japanese connections, or maybe through uh, a third party, that we uh, we will see how the response will be. The, the situation is very, very fluid. 
uh, the American government has a direct hand in blocking of the interaction between the Keshe Foundation and TEPCO, that even they put a four-year child into detention to block the process or make sure only what they want to come out. If you put a four-year child into detention center uh, to force pressure uh, to get your way, it means you have no ethos. And that comes directly at the highest level in the American government. A four-year-old girl was put in detention about two or three weeks ago to delay the process deliberate. And that kind of thing can only be done when the highest man, the most strongest man, fears his own power in the White House. You don't put a four-year-old child in prison to achieve your own clandestine activities. That's why we said the strongest man has turned up to be the weakest. I hope White House have got the message. Open the channels, we open the books. Don't be ashamed to be a president. We invite you to the conference in uh, Trani, Your Excellency's President Obama. And see if you can understand the justice of truth, that there is equality amongst men. Next question. Okay, we have a question about um, how many dimensions does space have? There is a point of view that space has only one dimension, just like time. What we refer to as three dimensions is just the axes that we assign. So the, question, the main question is how many dimensions does space have? Depends on what you call dimension. A space is a strength dependent. So you cannot dictate. But on the other hand, a space has a dimension according to the position of the observation. Any other question? Um, here's a question from Harold. Can Dr. Kesh give us a hint as to what may be taught in the first classes? I think you must have a very good clue. In the first, uh, um, what do you call it, teaching of last year, I thought the man was um, intelligent enough and strong enough to understand everything very rapidly. But I made a huge mistake. So with a matter of three, four weeks, we brought the knowledge seekers from not understanding the totality, assuming they read the books understood, into the laboratory that they, they got lost, some of them. We put a fear of life into them. Um, in that process, I was discussing this with Marco recently, that we keep the uh, students in for them to understand the structure of the plasma, understanding the work of the plasma, and give them time enough to be able for themselves to comprehend that what they were taught is not wrong, but is part of the totality, that they can go from one uh, transition of the state of matter to another. Then we go, uh, what do you call it? We carry on with the, with the, with the physical teaching of the work. Uh, it'll be a very interesting uh, session. It's been uh, organized uh, now with Professor Luzzi, who's the technical director of the uh, Institute. Uh, that uh, uh, we will have three cameras. For the first time, all the teachings will be live. It's not that as you do an online course and you get a computer talking to you, or lines to answer and read them books. 
whatever you need will be taught in the classroom. This is in the hand of uh, Wins and the others who are working in that direction. To bring this about in a smooth way. We, we are making provision for this. Before, in a way, that um, we will teach at the speed of our understanding of the class, but understand Understanding at the same time that the bigger classroom, which is the online students, are of a different, higher or lower level of understanding. So, that we can teach at the same time to all levels, in a way that they're all uh, satisfied by the hunger of knowledge. Uh, it will not be very difficult uh, to do, but um, as you know, you can go online teaching, you can, what do you call it, book yourself in, to be taught, you don't need to be there every day, you can do the course in 10 years, over 10 years, the first thousand hours. You do it as you understand it, and you can go back to it, to revise it, what you didn't understand. The purpose of these classes are not to teach, the purpose of these classes is to enlighten. It's a big difference between teaching and enlightenment. When you teach, you have to follow what I say. When you receive enlightenment, it left to your own intelligence to develop. And in the Institute, we do not teach, that's why you're not the students, you're knowledge seekers, to be enlightened. So, if we have a thousand people watching the session, we enlighten the knowledge of Creator in thousand different ways. Where if we teach, this is what I've written, copy the book and answer me what I thought. And that's how man's knowledge has been limited, dictating the position of power. And we have no power, because we are part of the totality. So, if you want to be enlightened, sign yourself on the, what you call, the online teaching. Uh, and if you have, uh, because uh, Sandra was telling me something this morning, before we start the session, and if you have, you want to be generous, make a donation, and allow somebody else to be enlightened. You will explain a lot of new things in the next workshop on Tuesday. If you've been around the Foundation, do not miss what is going to happen next Tuesday in the Institute. If you are blocked to hold the session where we want, we move to another premises, or the provision has been made. It's the essence which has to be carried out, and not the, not the presentation. Um, Mr. Keshe, there's a question from Emmanuel Spiteri about referring to the SSI University, well, school lectures starting on the 4th of May. Is there any online courses for one to follow? That's for the 4th That of will May. be online. Right, that's what I thought. Yeah, was you, you, you are online. If you register for an online teaching, you become a student in the classroom. The reason we are doing it this way is, I've seen, and I've felt the pain with Armin and other knowledge seekers last year. Separation from the family and separation from uh, the loved ones and sometimes mostly businesses. So, we brought this online teaching this way that every man can stay put but at the same time can receive the knowledge of totality. If you like to come, let's say, one month to get involved in the physical laboratory work, that you get the uh, matter essence of the thing, that you can do something, we organize these as workshops, monthly workshops in the time to come. So you can come to, to the institute for a month and work in the lab and do things, or two weeks of your holidays. These are all we arrange in time. But the essence of knowledge will be taught exactly as you are in the classroom with us. You don't need to leave your family behind and go through this. What's the purpose of suffering to help others, when the ones you love suffer most? So, we change it this way. 
you don't need to go online, you listen to the workshops, you can listen to the teachings and choose which teaching you want to learn. It's too primitive, it's too sure, too, too low, according to your intelligence, you want to know more. The only problem will be the first year, as we teach and we develop to make the archive. You can join in and enroll and, uh, what do you call it, take part in time, uh, the Thursday mornings and Tuesday afternoon sessions will become part of the people who are online, who want to ask questions about their, their work, or what this was taught. It's what we call a public tutorial. So, uh, we answer questions or you answer each other's questions. There is something in, uh, you've got to understand, I'm trying to pull out of the public arena, totally. It'll take a few months to, to get it done, but the knowledge has been passed on to the capable hand of people like uh, Marco and uh, Armin, and we've seen some progress in the direction of Dr. Elia and others. So, uh, uh, instead of waiting to start, when I pass away, I start the transfer from now. That is easy for you lot to be able to structure yourself as one nation. So, you can go online and enroll, you'll be with us in the classroom. It's the first time ever been done, and it's in, 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 in the, on the Internet so openly, on an everyday basis, but uh, I've seen it working effectively in China through the, what do you call it, through the medical application. You, you can go on the Cash Foundation uh, website, uh, or spaceshipinstitute.org to register for online. Uh, if we pass a limit which the service traffic cannot uh, handle in time, we will bring in other servers in. You got to understand, whatever we need to live a comfortable life, not a suffering life, is no use to be Christ, to be crucified, to suffer for the others, to learn peace. I live a Fairly comfortable life, but whatever I earn from my books, or from everything else, goes into the Foundation, and what is surplus, it gets spent back on the Foundation, and the work of the Foundation. So, if you get a lot of people who come online, we put additional servers around the world, <coughs> to meet the traffic. And we have a capable man, like Vince, who can organize these things in the background, that it can be done in time. You want to be a student, a knowledge seeker, from your seat at home, in a wheelchair, and stop listening to, to, let's say, one hour of CNN, just telling you how they plan to kill, and how they're done killing, and they can't tell you any new knowledge. You spend one hour in front of television, one hour a day, with the SSI classrooms. Add to the knowledge of the peace and the war. It's the same electricity, but at least it gives you the essence of the creation, in the true essence, in a true way. Any other question? Thank you, Mr. Kesh. Um, what else do we have for... I don't questions? understand. Ivan says, what are the conditions that our process is allowed to happen? There are no conditions. We offer you a degree, a master, what we call uh, executive master. And in that process as a master, it means you become master of your life and your knowledge. So, the only condition is you, there are no conditions uh, on it. If you are a layman, as I said, I went to a, a church and I saw a priest, he knew more about nuclear technology than the nuclear physicist. So, is he a priest or a nuclear physicist? I could not find out. So, you learn according to what you want in the section you need to learn.
We have Ivan, he wants to go to the Go meeting. He had a, a question about what is the principle behind the division of GANs. I don't quite understand the, the question, but principle behind the division of GANs. Is there a division, division of, of GANs? GANs? Ganses, they do divide. A star divides. What you call uh, supernova. The same thing happens to a Gans when the gravitational and magnetical fields go on unbalanced condition, where the gravitational field cannot hold on to totality of the fields within the center, due to the field pressure on the magnetical side. And it divides. Uh, yeah, Mr. Kesh, hi, it's Ivan. Uh, what I meant is, um, what is the condition of the environment that this process is about to, to happen? You create that I mean, condition, uh, depends what you want. Do you want three neutron or do you want four neutron of one nucleus? Um, well, what I, what I meant is like, uh, as we see the um, reactor apartment, what we have? We have a um, gun in an environment, uh, in plasma environment, when it's surrounded by nano layer, which is the outer, and then we have energy going inside that is feeding the gun to separate. So. Uh, then we go to the human body and we see the same, we have a gun in an environment of the human skin, which is an anomaly, and then energy going in, so the guns can separate in that environment. So, can you say that this is like a principle of separation? Your body does it using the plasmatic gravitational magnetic field packages, which you call it B12. It converts the behavior of the cancer of phosphor into a calcium, or vice versa. You have to, to be able to divide a plasma, you have to move away from the, the structure of the physicality. In the physicality, you only see, if you put an X-ray into it, or you put a beam of neutron into it, it will explode. In the plasma technology, to be able to create another condition, or separation, or division, or a summation, or adding, or what you call amalgamation, you have to add both, or take both plasmatic, magnetical, gravitational fields. The division of uh, plasma into sub subplasmas, in the coming time, will be a child's play. Your body does it all the time. Your body, when it's short of, let's say, um, nitrogen, in the process of amino acid, does not get you to go and eat a, you know, a bucket of nitrogen. It looks for the nearest element, which in a Gans state, can divide into sufficient amount of nitrogen, and it can be one of job. What is the closest domination, uh, domination of the plasmatic strength? Copper. 1415 is nitrogen. 60, 61, 59 is copper. 4 elements out of 1. But what it does, it creates a plasma condition using most of the time the plasmatic condition of the helium to create a division. Uh, yes, uh, what I meant is uh, what are the condition to this plasma condition to be even possible to be? What you mean by like condition? Like, okay, we say we have to create a plasma condition, so we have to create an environment where the condition... So you create a, you have, 
you create you have to understand how to create the environment and it's very easy you already seen it and uh, what you call it just one second please I've got a very bad cold one second please the condition is you decide because you can create the division uh, creating one environment and somebody else can create a different environment but achieve the same division. Conditions are, don't go the way the plasma physicists of the present time go, what they call fusion. And on the other hand, do not go the other way which the other nuclear physicists do by bombarding it. Go in the easy way, dilute it. Can you hear me? Yes, but I think yes. Okay. We had no, a little uh, slight glitch on the live stream, live. but I think it's okay. okay. You may have to restart. Some people may have to restart the live stream. Okay, no problem. Uh, so, what it is, you have to decide how you want to create the condition to achieve the division. In a simple way, just because you have two arms and two legs, a heart and a stomach, doesn't mean that you pick up the same food as the others to go in your stomach to convert to the gans of calcium. Where there is no calcium, your body creates a different environment to convert the material you receive to a calcium that it can be used for your bone. But still, a man in, uh, in North Pole would never see in vegetation have a bone, and a man in Africa was never uh, most probably um, eaten the seal, still have the same bone structure. The body converts according. This is the job of thyroid and parathyroid glands and a couple of other glands in the emotional part of the section of the brain. Where the death emotion dictates the physical part to create an environment that the cells on the bone can allow certain type of amino acid in the form of the plasmatic field of the lymph to go through that guarantees the production of a given amino acid that certain people in certain part of the world can eat certain food and still, still stay alive because that's the only food available in that area. That's why some of us can eat or some birds can eat poisonous thing and nothing happens to them and we eat it and we die. Because the need for existence has dictated a new process of change of conversion within the body. That's why we go from one country to another, you go sick because of the food, but uh, one billion people eat the same food, but they don't go sick. But you go in because your body amino acid, the lymph strength is not set for it, you feel sick. You create the conditions, you have to learn how your body does and repeat it. Mm -hmm. So, can you speak a little bit more about creating this uh, plasma environment? What is necessary just to be around this uh, plasma? What is necessary, it depends what you want to extract, or what you want to divide, or what you want to create. In the space reactors of the future, as we've shown, a lot of people have understood, and some haven't. You have one central core, and you have a star formation to create a free plasma. Then you put subsidiary reactors to create different materials from the same core according to the strength within the subsidiary reactor in the boundary. In one reactor you create a condition that in a given space creates oxygen, and you create the same reactor center reactor, the same star formation, in conjunction with another reactor creates a banana. Um, if you understand this process, uh, reversing of the diseases become child's play. We will show this. We will show this in a very rapid way in the coming weeks. Uh, 
because the system is already developed and it's getting perfected. And then we bring the two sides of the science together in the coming couple of weeks and we show it live as part of the teaching in the classroom. You have cancer, within seconds you can eradicate the cancer. You have, um, what do you call, uh, let's say, a sinus problem, within minutes disappears. You have uh, all sorts of these things, it's all the system is complete, it's getting literally perfected even today as we speak. I should be able to see a, a new version of it uh, within the next few days. So, we create a condition with the body, with true, through the emotional part, not through the physical part, that the emotional part dictates the physical part of how to accept. This is how the body works. You, you are in pain, you feel the pain, it's not good emotionally for you, you dictate through the emotional, to the physical part, do something about the pain. And if the pain is something that the physicality cannot do, and the wish to get rid of the pain, because it's so consistent, the way we used to have in our ancestors, we can amputate our own leg while we are standing watching it, without a single blood. In the other word, the same disease is called ILS. In other words, is emotional pain is so much that I need attention, call it MS. We teach the essence of the creation in the true means in the coming in the, in the coming weeks some time when the when the institute opens up. But everybody has to understand. Nobody will go to a lab for the first six months. We drip scientists out, we invite scientists for work, uh, workshops, as they show the maturity of understanding the difference. Because a lot of people don't like to touch a screwdriver, but they love to do mathematical equations. So, we encourage you your own way, and we allow you to share your knowledge with the humanity. I, I was talking to a scientist, and I said, do you know what you've developed? I want you to come and show it, it'll be shown live. He says, I have no problem, because I only can help a few, but this way I can help the whole millions. Ethos of the Keshe Foundation work. Patterns are irrelevant. So, you have to understand how you create a condition in your reactors to give you what matter you want. You change the parameter of the same reactor in the boundary, you change from oxygen to banana. You don't need to have another reactor. Because you can't produce banana all the time. You want banana, 10 bananas. Okay, 10 bananas. Now you want 20 oranges. You don't start another reactor, you just change character it to the orange. Very interesting point which you will learn in the future is that how can I put it to you without you misunderstanding? We have, we can, the knowledge is freely available, but outside this planet. Let's say, you want a banana. I still give you, let's say, the gans of CO2, as a matter. But in it, I can create the emotion and the vision of a banana. So, you still take the CO2, you still eat, let's say, a gas of whatever, but to your vision and emotion and the taste, you taste banana, you see banana, and you get the emotion of comfort of Earth having a banana. And we've shown this a few times and just passed over all of you, never understood. So, in the space, you don't need to go through actually building different uh, cancers. It's giving the comfort of the pleasure of, through the emotion. And it's much easier than actually creating a whole banana. You will see, you shall see this, it's, it's beautiful when it's done.
<laughs> yeah, it, it sounds really crazy. So, what do you want to divide? The emotional part? But, for you to understand this, that is, is not like a fairy tale, understand the work of the star formation, and the creation of the three plasma. Then you understand the emotion, the, the essence of the creation, within the free plasma. Then, that star formation can be anything you like. Blonde, blue eye, black hair, you don't need to imagine, but the emotion of the feeling, is exactly as what you want. Well, Mr. Keshe, we speak very often about this behavior of the plasma that behaves like one thing and then behaves in the other thing. Is it possible to be measured in somehow when behavior changes? Or how can we control this speed up? Okay, now it's the behavior, behavior and now it's... The, the behavior of the plasma changes according to the environment. You can get... 10 different behavior from the same plasma, depends what you put on which side of the plasma. You can get from a Gans of a plasma, on one side the behavior of oxygen, and on that side the behavior of, uh, let's say, nitrogen. It's what I explained to you with the center core, you can have whatever you like as you put uh, different parameters around it. The behavior, it depends on the point of need and demand and the environment created. Let me go back to something for you to understand. It's easier a physical term. A rattlesnake poison is poison to you. A cobra never bites a cobra, because it knows his venom has no effect on it because it enters the same environment. When it's stronger, it has an effect. But if the same cobra bites you, it kills you, because the gravitational magnetic field of the plasma of the material it delivers to you, is stronger than yours. So what happens, it dissolves into it. That's why you see your organs you know, dissolve and stop function. Very simple. You see it in the normal process. In one environment, has no power. In the comparison to the weaker environment, because don't forget the venom is in a Gans state, not a matter state. So you deliver a Gans. This is why there is so much problem in the product of medicine with injections and tablets. Because you introduce matter into a Gans, and then you want to change its behavior into a Gans. So even if it's in the environment of the Gans, gravitational magnetic field of the body, it creates changes. And that's why you see side effects, because some changes are not the same. There should be no side effect with the medicine, if, if the scientific world understands that easily they can custom build the medicine to every blood. It costs less than what they are doing now. Any other question? Uh, there's a question in Facebook, apparently I've been told about, but I, I don't have it set up yet, so it'll take a few minutes to probably find it here. Um, <clears throat> anybody else have a question on the um, Skype call? Yeah, is there anybody else in GoToMeeting? Or go to go to meeting or Skype that has a question? And maybe Armin has anything to add about uh, anything? We haven't seen or heard of Armin yet. Is he awake or is he still asleep? He just arrived from He China did join the time. conversation. <laughs> and fell back to sleep again. 
No. <laughs> oh, oh. There he is. I'm just getting ready to get out. Uh, would you like a coffee? I already did. Second one. Second. Go on. Thanks, Scott, you're Thanks, awake. Scott, you're awake. No, awake from the beginning. Okay. Okay. Is there anything? Is there anything in we have an echo <laughs> uh, happening here. I think it's live it? stream. Your live no, stream is on. No, I think his arm speakers. He probably doesn't have his headset on. Yeah. My computer is acting strange these days. <laughs> anyway. No, I don't have anything to add. The trip was excellent, actually. And, uh, and, and I hope, you know, I had a very little time. But, you know, I, 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 I enjoyed it. <laughs> but I'm not. Well, we'll see you in a few hours. Okay, thank you. Yeah. What is a strange is for you to understand about Armin's come back from a trip to China over a week? Uh, a lot of you don't um, don't work with us so close to understand the work the way we do and the way it's happening now growing. Armon flew all the way to China to sort out the problem or at least advise with some of the things which can be done different way with the manufacturer of the goods with the Chinese company which run by Sohel and the team of others which are around. But without him knowing, as you know, we received a gift from a company which makes reactors uh, and they send us some reactors. So he's been to the factory, I think, and told them how they have to change the reactor, that it works the way we think it should do, some adjustments. And coming back, knowing that they will produce, hopefully, these systems that the others can use, and they will sell this technology to the others around the world to produce different materials and systems. All this, without any confidentiality letter, without any non-disclosure, without any patent registration. The Chinese, they put the reactor the way Armand suggested to make his reactors, they built something else, slightly different, and now they're working as one group, one team, even though the team in China can produce systems that, for example, uh, the organization of Sohel can do. But Sohel takes Alman to the factory to show them what is done correct. Unconditional share of knowledge as one nation, as one group. We don't talk, we act it, we live it, and the people around us work the same way. When Dr. Antonio came to the lab last week to be there, because he is a gravitational man, usually the dream of people is if they come, if we talk to them, if we do. Marco teaches, explains how he understands it, and after two days we gave him reactors, we gave him the fuel, we gave him everything, we says, go home and build your own reactor and come back and show us how. This is how share of knowledge brings peace. And at the beginning a lot of people are apprehensive about how come they do this. Because we are detached from physicality. We are detached from what the wealth can bring, because I cannot sell one dollar to the aliens in the space, it worth nothing. But if we can develop the reactors the right way, that we can use in a medical application, that it can reduce the pain of one man, we have served our purpose of our work. And you've seen it. He just come back, been to the factory, showing everybody what, what they we think from our point of view or his point of view needs to be changed. Without any of the restrictions which is made for man to abuse man, patent and non disclosures of rest. Mr. Cash? Yeah. Can we just get a mic check, please? Oh, yeah, what's wrong with my mic? I'm not going to sleep again. Is it okay? 
Hello. Say it again, sorry. Is it okay, or am I lost? There's some mic noise in the background. S seems good now. Is there? Are you playing with the cable or something? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> I wasn't doing it, it was just in my hand. No problem. <laughs> okay, great. Um, <clears throat> it says somebody says no lawyers. I like that. No lawyers and no liars. We don't have lawyers in the Swiss. We can't negotiate with aliens. <laughs> so, uh, we don't need patents to protect them either. Next question. Okay, there is a, a question that uh, from the, uh, Kenneth in the uh, live stream, and I've got his uh, Facebook post that he mentions that he sent me here, which is a, a GANS reactor setup with the um, uh, magnetometer Tesla readings on the picture. And he says, before asking the question, I want to give a brief description about my lab and current situation. Um, white, one, white GANs created by nano copper with aluminum and washed it many times before adding it into ping pong ball. Each ping pong ball rotating in around 1700 RPM now. All of the structure was made by steel except the pillar. I checked that I can use a magnet to attract to the four pillars, four times pillar. So I assume that there is an iron matter in the four pillars. So, um, uh, he also mentions, he has the, a couple of questions from that, but he also mentions in his comments to me in the lives into uh, Facebook, I'm thinking if there are any iron material which is used to construct the structure of the reactor, will it affect the magnetic field to form as a sphere structure? I checked and confirmed that the magnetic field is flowing through the four times pillar now. If there's a chance, please kindly ask Mr. Cash about it in the workshop today. So he mentions in his questions that I use an EMF, electromagnetic field detector, to f find out that the magnetic field is running through the four pillars now. If I move the... Okay, can you, can you stop there? One thing, because we discussed this in the lab yesterday or the day before. Okay. When you run, uh, or when you put the guns in your cores, or when you run your reactors, in that moment, you create a gravitational magnetic field which is nothing to do, or is above the matter state. So, your field might slightly be touched by a much weaker element, which is a matter state of the plasma. But in fact, in totality, has nothing to do with it. Because the field released by your GANs, and the plasma you create, is in a different, stronger level than the, than the, what do you call it, uh, than the plasma of the framework which you have, like a uh, steel or the uh, plastic. So, it's more or less irrelevant. The other thing is, there is something which uh, I think it shocked uh, Marco this week or last week when I explained to him, or I was explaining to Dr. Antonio. You are looking for a high speed rotation. We still do in the lab. I explained this beginning of the teachings a year ago, before. You do not see Earth rotating at uh, 10,000 or 2,000 revolution per day. With a Gans state of matter, very low speeds can create a very powerful gravitational or magnetical field effect. Just because you are used to megawatts and 
30,000 revolution per minute, does not mean this is what actually happens. Here. The fast speeds creates a more friction. So more residual to be collected. Lower speed allows the establishment of the solid core that it absorbs everything within the, within the, within the environment of the plasma. It's very much when you're sitting in a car and you're driving at 100 kilometers an hour. You don't have time to observe the whole scenery than when you walk the same road. Then you find out, with a slower speed, you make very powerful plasmas. But, you have to have the patience that the reactors, as they release their fields in the interaction with each other, you are there to collect. Higher speed gives it the thing, but once you create the plasma, reduce your speed to about 50 to 100, below 50 if you get the control in your system, and then see the beauty of the creation. You create a friction, high friction between different plasmas, you create this, what are called splatters, or for what you call it, the small plasmas, and then create a condition that you can absorb it. Or do what we did in the, in the, in the lab in the, in the Sansano. High speed gans hanging, which releases huge amount of plasma, and then very slow speed, there were no motors running in the hydrogen uh, reactors. They were there just with the plasmatic flow rotation, so slowly they absorbed everything out of there, what, what the big one was making. So, if you want to make a very good system, run a higher speed next to a very slow one. Dr. Antonio yesterday saw what I was explaining to him how to run his system. So, try to understand what you expect, what condition you create. You do not need 2,000. Yes, 2,000, 3,000 is higher friction. You make more, the, 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 the harder you put a metal to the grinder, the more uh, sparks you create. But, how you collect these sparks to make what you want from it counts. Or everything is splashes all over the place and you don't see it. Um, when Mr. you go, yes. Mr. Kess, is, is the, layering have to do something with that as well, as far as the gaps between layers, would, would that be... Uh, layering is a creating a dimension for the strength. Compressed, too compressed at the higher RPMs and the lower RPMs allows it to sort of uh, breathe <laughs> or have more of a gap between the... No, it's uh, in a way yes, but in reality you can run one reactor, I was explaining this to Dr. Antonio yesterday, you can re run one reactor, because it's a Gans plasma condition, and the rest of the plasmas will go on at a slower speed. You don't need to run all the reactors at the same time at a higher speed. You see a different does, performance. Does the ring need to be created first with the high speed, the, uh, the famous Gans ring that we see in the, in the uh, spherical reactors? Sometimes, yes. But not always. Not always, no. You create... Uh, the thing is, we went through the process of learning, because you're human, you always look for action, otherwise if it's done, still nothing happens. <laughs> this is the thing, a lot of people yeah, are calling this for is action. Just, yeah, uh -huh. uh, this is like when you put a, an apple on the table, it's not moving, but how come it rots? There's a lot of action going in there, huh? But well, just physically not moving. That's actually my, that not my that goal. My goal, Mr. Cash, is to invent a maggrab detector that can uh, detect the maggrabs of an apple, so it would actually detect that deterioration of the what was going on inside. I think Sohel was working on something like this. I don't know if this still research goes on there with it. We need uh, proper detectors to be made. 
Mm-hmm. Well, come on. We we getting we uh, we need a lot of people to enroll into the online teaching. That they bring a lot of knowledge with them. Uh, and then they bring uh, addition to the science. We see more and more people posting things, more and more people are eating ganses I see, and they have a red blood or red color uh, water and everything else. And we keep on telling you, do not eat and drink these things till we can tell you. And somebody says, I'd like to make a gans sandwich, what would happen to my digestion system? I don't know. Ask, what do you call it? FDA to test it first. Get yourself totally understand what you are doing. It's no use doing it and then saying, oh, Cash told us to do it. Mm -hmm. I told you, do not do any crime. I told you, do not do any wrong. Why don't you listen to that part of it? I told you, a lot of you are military people, put your guns down and stop the wars. How can you only do what suits you? Um, one advice you did give about uh, this practice of uh, experimenting on oneself and so on is is something that you require in the health uh, sector is blood tests before and during and after such consumption so you have some sort of baseline to know where your elements are in, and uh, so on, and if things are being disturbed or disrupted or uh, put into imbalance because of the practice, and you'd know, you know, what the right uh, um, uh, amounts would be and so on, what, 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 uh, what would be proper, if anything, to take. But all that has to be under control conditions with, with with doctors that understand what's going on and, uh, you know, in your clinic, You see, we have never... It's got to be controlled. <clears throat> we have never advocated uh, by general public to drink or eat. But as we have a large number of scientists who listen and work, this is a public teaching to a cross-section of the people and we keep on saying, it's for those scientists to do. I know a team of scientists who are working on this by the way. They are trying to measure the gravitational magnetic field energy of the GANs to see how it performs, what it does. Then they can publish what they like. When we tell you this is the condition for a GANs such as such, it's for the scientific world to research. We cannot say put uh, earplugs in your ear, we are now talking to the scientists. We speak with a cross-section of the world population. If you want to be, open the research center and do the job and publish the paper. The important thing is, do we need a paper to tell us we can research on the existence of the creation? Or is this something new that stops man to um, further enlighten himself with the knowledge of creation? The ones who are stupid have put their limits to not to show their stupidity. That's why uh, we keep on saying, use your intelligence to do the things the right way and then enlighten us. And if you don't understand, we can't answer all questions, then we see how we can share the knowledge. It says, very interesting question, how to know the plasma is rotating when the motor is stopped? without being able to see through the reactor. This means you haven't understood a single thing about plasma technology, sorry about that. Each plasma is a dynamic rotating entity with different strength on different 
layers and even on different um, elevations and different positions. And the change or the difference in the both gravitational magnetic field in each layer for a Gans which is within the environment of millions of other Ganses with the same property and as we know magnetical gravitational field of the weaker links up with the strongest but and the common denominator strength this creates automatically motion for the plasma of the Gans and when you have a total collection of motion of elements together you create total motion for the whole the Gans, whole the material in the container. We've seen these in the channels of the plasma magnetic field shown by other scientists as well. So you do not need uh, to create a high speed rotation to make the plasma move. Plasma moves at the level which is natural to it and those who put the picture, if you go back a few weeks ago, how we could see the channels of the flow of the Gans, then understand the next step which you missed. As the Gans loses its energy, leads to creation and manifestation of the matter state of the thing. You had a square box, and you did a slow shot motion, you could see the flow of the magnetic field of the Gans. So, the speed of the rotation cannot be more than that. To create, to lead to production of the fields you need. So, you do not need high speed. And it means you haven't understood the whole structure. Plasma of a Gans, and a Gans within the structure of the environment of the Ganses, is highly dynamic, energetic, gravitational, magnetic field, energy entity. This is what I said last week. Understand if you are dealing in the matter state, gravitational magnetic field plasma, or in a Gans, gravitational magnetic field plasma strength, or above that, which you cannot see. Um, <clears throat> it says, is there a lot of plasma? Sorry. It says, is there a lot of turbulence and vortexes in plasmas, of course it is. Huge amount of turbulence, as much as you see on the surface of the Sun. There is no difference between the plasma of a Gans, of a CO2 and a Sun. Once man has the tools to look, we will see it. Would that go for the inside of a proton as well? Of course, it's just a plasma. It's all plasma, plasma, plasma. That's all it is. It's made of addition, summation, or division, or amalgamation, or interaction. It's very easy. We've seen, we've seen the flow of a plasma channels, huh? You don't understand why those channels. Yeah, I'm not sure where that image is. Uh, if someone can suggest the link for that, I could get it up. <coughs> Um. Uh, I think you have a folder for me, Rick. Uh, I think one of my first pictures I gave you is one of those channels. If you have nothing else. Uh, anybody would like a cup of tea? <laughs> yes, please. And a slim body shape, very black and tasty. Okay, any other question? Well, uh, we are up to two and a half hours here, and uh, you have a cold, and uh, maybe we should start to phase out here. And we've answered quite a few questions, but um, what do you think? All right. There's no question. We have that. Carry on. We do have the questions that were from the same uh, 
regarding this these four magnetic pillars and and so on it's uh, it's more about how the magnetic field is affected by the iron pillars in the iron nothing in, it doesn't affect it it does not affect it because it affects a part of the plasma which is at the strength of the iron plasmatic gravitational magnetic field which is very little this we had with the uh, I was explaining this to Dr. Anthony yesterday or the day before because we have this little bit sticking on top of the reactors the way they come from China and he was uh, it was a uh, thought that the plasma gets squeezed in between I explained no because the plasma created between the two reactors is in a much higher order than a copper or a brass part of it is of that order but in fact it doesn't affect it that much because it's in a matter state which is much weaker You will see some change of the flow, but that that will be more or less it. Around that area. Mm, okay. Um, he mentions he prepared four cups of water around the reactor, and he uses a voltage meter to check the voltage about the cup of water. I found out the water on top of the reactor or under the reactor have a low voltage, only around 20 millivolts. But outside the reactor, the distance between the water and reactor around 60 to 70 centimeters distance, the cup of water is more higher, around 50 millivolts. Sometime created 90 millivolts. Is it implying that the water is absorbing plasma's energy now? Can I use it for planting instead of using CO2 GANs for planting? Thanks. In so many ways, yes. In so many ways, no. And in so many ways, we answered this a few minutes ago. Um, as the plasma travels further distance, it interacts more and creates the different kind of conditions of the radiation or plasma motion. If you remember, our Chinese colleague showed us they run a ping pong ball reactor on the floor and they run upstairs and they could detect the radiation upstairs. Yes, remember that. So it takes that long for such an amount of plasma to travel, to interact with all the air and all the concrete and the steps and the bricks and whatever, to reduce enough energy that it becomes a ray, plasmatic magnetic field of air. What we call gamma ray, whatever that the electrons uh, bandwidth can absorb and indicate and detect. The plasmas have a huge, they release huge amount of uh, energy at plasmatic gravitational magnetic field level. And this is, uh, depends where you want to collect it and how far to they don't diminish. There is a, there's a peak, a point of peak in it. And if you find that point of peak, then you you understand where it is, and it's not usually within the system. We have shown this in, the, I explained this before, we have shown this in um, uh, Queen Mary College, um, what do you call it, uh, laboratory reactor some 30 years ago. The assumption was that the neutron in the reactor releases all its energy between the plates, and there was a peak assumption that it sits in the somewhere in the center of the reactor. Uh, I don't know if we can, uh, we can put a picture on. Uh, I'll try to open my camera, if you can see it. Can you see this? Is, uh, is the camera on? Hello? Ah, uh, yep, it's on here. It's on there. You see? In Queen Mary College, this was part of my thesis for the final year. In Queen Mary College, we had a nuclear reactor, which had high uh, radioactive material of different things hanging in the reactor. And the assumption on the design of the reactor was that the neutron flux peak will be somewhere here, in the center of the reactor. Uh, what we did, we changed the plates in a number of ways. So, we changed the, like, uh, the enrichment level in different plates. 
to monitor the the performance of the uh, of the flux flow in the in the reactor. What we found out was that the actual flow is totally different than was assumed in design and development. And what this meant, the peak was very much like this. You had a peak which was assumed, but nobody ever measured what happens. What happened outside the reactor? We had two peaks where neutron flow was sitting something like meters outside the reactor. So, in fact, in fact, the workers were getting radiated more than the center of the core with a higher dose energy neutrons. And this led to the closure of the, um, what do you call it, the research reactor in uh, Queen Mary College. Because the field sometimes, if it was played a different way, could be beyond the boundary of the, uh, the site. And then, we carried this knowledge into uh, Hinkley 1 nuclear reactor of the power station Hinkley 1, Hinkley 2 in, U, in UK, some a few years later, when I was with the British nuclear fuel, where the reactor was in the center. But what we could not understand was that the concrete structure which was here, and it had a huge plates to absorb any leaking neutron, these plates were quite heavy, were falling off. Because the, what happened is that the pins or the screws which are used to screw these plates into the wall, were uh, loosening and falling off and changing the structure. And they could not understand how is this possible. With the experience I had with the, the Queen Mary College reactor, immediately came apparently when I explained to my directors that you are assuming the center of the peak sits in the center of the reactor, but it actually sits somewhere on the wall. And what happens, the nuclear radiation from the reactor, it dislocates or creates a lattice uh, structure change in the screws, so they fall off. It wasn't corrosion. It was a nuclear interaction, so immediately they start looking into changing the screws and we found the solution. So, what does this mean? It means you have your core running in the center somewhere here. But, your peak not necessarily sits within your uh, uh, structure of the frame. It could be somewhere outside, depends what you're looking for. So your current, so you get different current voltages in different area, location, from the center. <coughs> <coughs> so, it's possible, if you understand this, that why you have, uh, what do you call it, um, higher voltages, may be further out. Because the fields, as they slow down, they peak somewhere. And that peak is what it counts. Depends what you need. This goes back again to what I explained a few minutes ago, where you have this as uh, oxygen, and this is your line. You move the line. You want to become uranium, or you want to become hydrogen. So, part of the plasma reduction in speed can create higher voltages outside the boundary of what, boundary of what you're expecting. How I answered it. Are we still there? <laughs> yes, yes indeed. Yep, I can um, hear you. I would have one one question about that. There's a nice uh, drawing there. Um, the idea that uh, how would that be measured? Like in your in the circumstance you were talking about, it would be measured by uh, radioactivity meters, I presume, or some sort of. You you showed a voltage or, and current. Is, is the voltage and current measured for that wave, or how how would we measure where the reactors are um, 
this focused is... other than geometry and looking at it and maybe feeling it or sensing it. You, you, first of all, we need to develop these new systems, which I think Sohail and um, uh, we are working on it here. Sohail was concentrating on showing this, these detectors. Secondly, this is one of the most important equipments, how to measure these, because in a way, you can, in the space, I'll open the camera again to understand, for you to understand something else, is that in a space, you can invite our friends on board, and with, this is the space, as a human race, we are comfortable with. But in this space, they die. They cannot exist, or they have problems. So, you create an environment within this space, to have friends on board, but in their environment. This is a very regular process in the Universe. Coexisting within the boundary of the same system, but creating the condition and environment that everyone can exist, but at the same time, allowing for the environment of existence. It's very much the same as if we cannot survive in the water, huh? as a fish. And a fish cannot survive in our place. But at the same time, if you wear a mask, we can go into the water and get some oxygen, because we change what we carry with us. But in the environment of the plasma, you cannot do that most of the time. And that's why you will understand um, what I call um, you call it intermarriage between different cultures. Inter, uh, uh, what do you call um, children? Creation of mixed races in the space is one of the biggest difficulties. We can fall in love with the alien, but we'll never have be able to have a child because one, if it's of a higher strength, destroys the other sperm or the egg then you understand, falling in love with the soul is the easiest way. Then it doesn't need physicality. Then you understand, you can marry somebody without ever having any physical interaction, and live with them for years. And this happens in the space amongst cultures. Marriage without the physical, but interaction of the souls, is much more beautiful than physical love. But both sides have to feel the essence of the, the souls. I told you, you can't lie, I love you darling, huh? <coughs> Sorry, I don't receive the energy. I don't see your plasma. Next question. Anybody for a space travel? <laughs> yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Sure. Pick me, pick me. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask a question about the emotional part of the brain, since it is the sea? Um, of strong magnetic gravitational fields, and when you said over and over again, also in the beginning, that everything is uh, plasma, uh, beginning from thoughts, intentions, and consciousness, is it possible to to strength uh, to to uh, exponentially increase the magrav's fields of the emotional part of the brain? Yes, you can. And, and, and with that, interacting with the reactors, for example. Yes, I do control reactors sometimes that way. Done it for years. Don't forget, I have, a <laughs> I have a different okay. structure of understanding than you do in the operation of the plasma, and you can do. And the easiest way is when you run a reactor and it comes to a halt, sit there and dictate to it to move. We tried, we showed this with Armin and Mark a few months ago this, but nobody understood what, how it works, in totality. 
in a way you can promote your soul in the field of strength, if you are not stealing from the physicality. Self-promotion of the soul, which in return becomes elevation of the physicality, is one of the ways of achieving peace within the structure of the man. Instead of you uh, <coughs> fighting somebody, Use the same energy to increase the level of your soul that you can give to them that they elevate to you, there is no need for fight. This is what the core team did to the world leaders and the Prophet of the past in their physical level. Self-promotion of the soul for the advancement and elevation of the physicality, understanding of the structure of the creation, is allowed and is practiced. Because in that level, you find peace. As you create more, you convert more of your physical, or physical plasma into the emotional that it feeds the soul. At the same time, because it's free, it nourishes the other souls within the environment to come to the same level, and you find a peaceful environment. In my physical life, I have a very short temper because I cannot understand the injustices. But at the other level, I can tolerate a universe of patience of time. And this creates me a lot of problems for myself. And you cannot elevate one, because without that you cannot see where is the weakness, that you can sort it out. Thy shall not steal but I can give freely. Why not give to your own soul, than leaving it outside to be, it might be used. It's not meditation. Meditation is totally only for the physical aspects of the body of the man. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other, or shall we call it a day? I think you pretty much covered uh, all around the world and half the universe too here tonight. A lot of questions have been answered or addressed. So, I think we can let you go. Hey, yes, hopefully just a small reminder that uh, we have the what you call the meeting of the Spaceship Institute in Barry, uh, what you call it, in Trani, on Tuesday, Wednesday, if you want to join us. Uh, on Thursday, from 10.30 till 1 o'clock, is the inauguration between the Keshe Foundation and Loom University opening. Uh, and uh, in the afternoon, we will have a session of discussions and at 6 o'clock on 23rd, we finish the sessions for the Space Institute and the operation between the two. It's an open door policy, but as I said, uh, we are very vigilant about the situation, what's happening. And at the same time, if you have developed technologies which you want to explain or show or discuss, um, the floor is yours. This is knowledge belongs to one nation and that nation is human race. So, if you are um, strong enough to be able to share your knowledge with us, bring it along and teach us, we are all students. And thank you very much for your time today. Yes, thank you very much Mr. Kesh, and uh, just like to add uh, the thanks to our supporters that enabled us to get to the Spaceship Institute um, for this opening. This will be a great honor for those of us that are be able to attend. And uh, yes, thank you very, very much. Absolutely, yes. thank you. Many thanks to the Keshe Foundation for presenting all of this and enabling it to happen. Thank and you very much. Of course, to Mr. Keshe for all his hard labor and work, his 10 it's hours a, a day and night that he puts in at least. 
minimum every single day <laughs> to keep things going here. We'll meet each other in Chani <clears throat> and then we'll see where the new direction for human race will, will take us. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Kash. Bye-bye. And Thanks. once again, so ends the 58th Kesh Knowledge Seekers Workshop. Thank you everyone for attending.